Open your binder and take out your badge. Now take your phone and put it inside of your binder. Once it's in your binder, take your badge and put it on. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. So the planner that you have currently has a bit of a problem. Some of you may have noticed that on Friday it says that there's no school. Although your planner says there's no school on Friday, there actually is school on Friday and it's going to be an A day. So we look forward to seeing you on Friday this week here at school. We suggest you mark in your planner that you actually do have school. Your den teacher can help you out with that. Thanks. This month, the month of Ramadan, we celebrate because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu it was the Quran was revealed to him during this month, so that's why it's so special and dear to us. We celebrate Ramadan to like um, kind of acknowledge Prophet Muhammad and also to like kind of follow what he does. Hello, my name is Aisha and I am a Arabic interpreter here at Granite Park Junior. You may have seen me around. And today I want to talk a little bit about Ramadan. In Islam, there are five pillars of faith that make you a Muslim if you follow them. And fasting is just one of them. In the month of Ramadan, Muslims fast from first light to sundown. So the whole day they go without food or water. We wake up super early, like around 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. And we eat something called suhoor, where you eat a bunch and then you don't wait for the rest of the day. So for Muslims at Granite Park Junior, that means that we're going to skip lunch and we're not going to drink any water throughout the whole school day. We also won't have dinner until the sun comes down. Right now, that's 7.30 p.m. Imagine doing this for 30 days. Sometimes throughout the month, we might feel tired or like we might have like different mood swings. We might not pay attention to class or we might just fall asleep. That's because they've been fasting from sunup all the way to sundown. So at the end of a long day of fasting, what do you want to eat? You want to eat something that you really, really love. One of my favorite parts of Ramadan is that my mom will always make all of my favorite foods. So when we break our fast, I know I'm looking forward to something really special. Each family has their own foods and traditions associated with Ramadan. For me, my mom makes batlawa or baklava with pistachio and walnut. And she also makes ma'mood, which is kind of like a shortbread cookie with a special design on top of it stuffed with dates. In this month, we believe that we can get forgiveness for anything that we've done. It's our opportunity to make things right with both ourselves and God and any of the people around us that are important to us. When Ramadan is over and the crescent is sighted, then there's a very big celebration called Eid. After Ramadan, after the whole month, after the 30 days, there's something called Eid where it's like a celebration for like fasting since like fasting is pretty hard and challenging because sometimes you see other people eating and that gets you like it makes you want to eat. Eid is a very exciting time. It is a celebration that lasts three days. There are special prayers and for kids, gifts. So if you've never celebrated Eid before, Eid is kind of like Christmas and Thanksgiving rolled in together and it lasts three days. Normally the family prepares a very large feast and it's everyone's favorite foods. Normally these are traditional foods and they take a long time to prepare so it's a very special time when everyone has the time to make it and eat it all together. Thank you so much and if you still have questions about Ramadan, 
and you see me, feel free to stop me or ask any of your Muslim friends.